All right, looks like we have the next uh, Gungan coming to the game. It's going to be Gungan Boomadeer. And they call it Kit Reveal. It's not a Booma. Okay, Booma. I feel like that's just some kind of dumb joke, like how everyone says, okay, Boomer. So it's like, okay, Booma. And then it's not a Booma. I don't know, it's pretty dumb. Then again, me head wrote it, so what do you expect? Anyways, unit name, Gungan Boomadeer. Light side, attacker Gungan. Um, this will be the developer's insights portion of things, so let's get it. Key attributes, can add stacks of plasma shielding to the shield generator. Damage is amplified when attacking enemies who have been debuffed by Captain Tarples and Boss Nass. Okay. So, I guess, in the grand scheme of things, you'd want to have Tarples and Boss Nass's speed a little higher than Gung and Boomadier. That way then, you have a high chance of getting those debuffs out by them, and then when Boomadier goes, he's, uh, hitting harder. Horn of Ota Gunga gives Gungan Boomadier Frenzy and another Gungan ally a bonus turn. That's bananas. Horn of Ota Gunga. That must be one of his moves or something. Gives him Frenzy and another Gungan ally a bonus turn. That's bananas. That's kind of regular. What are you talking about? <laughs> They're acting like that's like some weird new mechanic. Oh my god. Calling an assist? Ugh. While the shield generator is up, any special ability that Gungan Boomadier uses will provide him with def uh, stacking defense, penetration, and offense. Okay. Inspiration. Well, you don't really have too much to work with. It's only like Phantom Menace. When figuring out who the Gungans in the squad would include, we took the concept of the Gungan Militia Gung. <laughs> okay. And broke it out into both the shield bearing phalanx and the unit we're talking about today, the Boomadier. We wanted to include the iconic horn of Ota, Ota, Gunga, in the squad somewhere, and it felt at home here on Boomadier. Is that the one where they're kind of, is like their, uh, their war cry type thing, when they're blowing on it? I don't see him with it, though. Um, I do see it as one of his abilities right there, though, but I don't, he doesn't have it with him, so it's kind of, like, random, like, he just gets it out of nowhere. Oh, hey, by the way. I guess it's like when SLKR goes ultimate, he takes his mask off, and then when ultimate ends, the mask is back. <laughs> Strategy tips. Best when used with all Gungans. Well, duh. I think they all are. That's almost like the Geos and the Jawas and the Ewoks. They're all best with themselves, you know? No, let me take this one random Gungan and use it in my Jedi squad. Like, what? Speed and crit chance are solid mods to look at. Okay, I just said you probably want them to be slow. That way then the other guys are putting damage, I mean, putting debuffs out first. But okay, I guess you want them to be super fast. Where Boomerang goes in the turn order will benefit your damage output. Yeah, which means you don't want his speed to be that high. You're kind of counteracting yourselves here. You're not making sense. When is Gungan Boomerang available? His marquee begins this Thursday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. That's kind of a given. They're always that time on Thursdays. Does his marquee have daily rewards like Boss Nask and Captain Tarples? Yes. Well, I'd hope so. I'm pretty sure they're all going to. And quite possibly, all characters moving forward might. But definitely these guys do. So whoever the next Gungan is, you know he's going to have it too. Like, what kind of dumb question is that? Where's the Omicron? As it's a raid Omicron, his Omicron is arriving with the new battle for Naboo raid. Well, they're asking about the Omicron. It doesn't really affect me yet because we're only on the developer's insights. So that's somebody who's looked at the kit reveal already and we haven't. Anything about the rewards in the marquee that is changing. The amount of Omicrons for the first time reward for tier seven has been upped from two to four to account for needing all Gungans relic five. The time when the daily reset happened, a reset time what? The time when the daily reset time happens. Okay, too many times there. For the marquee is now 11 a.m. Pacific. What is up with these weird times too? Pacific? I don't know what that is. I'm Eastern. <laughs> I feel like Eastern's almost like normal to, I don't know, I guess if you live in Pacific time zone, then that's normal to you. I'm just used to Eastern because it's where I've always been, but I kind of feel like Eastern is a standard time. Like, I don't know, isn't it? Like, 
just kind of like a standard thing. You go by New York time. <laughs> I don't know. Like, what the fuck is Pacific? It's not even... Is that the... There's Central Mountain Pacific. Yeah, so Pacific is like California, right? Ugh. 12, one, so that's like 2 o'clock p.m. for me. <laughs> uh, question form here. I don't want the question forms, you know? I want them to bring back the Q&As. Whatever happened to that? It's like they used to do them for every character. Then it kind of got weirdly spotty, and now they just don't exist anymore. No, instead they have these facts, which is supposed to mean frequently asked. I don't really know how these questions are frequently asked on a character that's just been released, but sure. Anyways, that's all we got for this one. That's the super short developer's insights. Um, <laughs> considering it's called developer's insights, I don't feel like we really learned too much. Jeez, they, <laughs> they told us like the most basic information. And uh, yeah, it was kind of a waste of time. They could have just went straight to the kit reveal. But anyways, I guess that's what we're given. So that's what I got for you. And uh, until whatever comes next, which we already know is that kit reveal. I said, see ya.